Welcome back. You must be thinking a lot of self-reflection, right? Understanding about self, self-worth, self-value, intent, this, that. Now let me do one thing. Since you've done a lot of soul searching, I'm going to sow a seed, implant a seed. And that seed is seed of confidence. Okay? Because now that you've understood your self-worth, you're asking a lot of questions to yourself. Let's now move ahead and plant a seed of self-confidence and see what all we can do in this journey of building self-confidence together. The seed. What is this seed? You must have seen, right, the, you, when, you, when you sow a seed and then you put soil, then you give water, then fertilizers if needed, and then these small, small, there are some sprouts that come up and then slowly and slowly leaves will come up, all right? And if it's a, fl if it's a plant that uh, give, produces flowers, then you will see these small, small flowers coming up, right? So, what had actually you done initially? You had sowed the seed that have blossomed into the person you, you are. So, let's see, let's sow the seed of the person you want to become. And what does this include? So, just like your personality, most of the traits of personality, your behavior, your thinking, your values stem from your family. Your genetic inheritance, just like what we, what, what we had studied in our personality development session. And biochemistry, that is your hormones. Whatever you are born with, that is the first thing that you uh, acquire. Okay? Scientists tell us that these account for around 25 to 30% of your character. So we come to personality again. 25 to 30, maximum 50% is what you inherit from your parents. The environment, it's just what we had learnt in personality. These are all related. The, the reason why you see an overlap, and I had said this, that you will see an overlap is your characteristics, and your personality, your behavior, your attitude, your beliefs, your values, confidence. It, these are all part of psychology, part of you. That is why there will be always an overlapping. One will be dependent on the other, one will define the other, one will complement the other. It's just like that. So, your genetic inheritance close to 35, 25 to 35% builds, builds your character. The environment that you grow in. So, nature, nurture, same thing applies here. Your unique way of trying to make sense of it both at the time and now. So, your unique way of trying to make sense of it all both at that time and now. So, j just to make it, make things clear, it's your nature or nurture again that defines your character. And why are we talking about that here? Promise yourself from now. Now you're planting that seed. Even though you are influenced by the environment or you have inherited some of the traits, characteristics, behaviors and confidence level, promise yourself that from now on you will sow only seeds. What kind of seeds? Positive thoughts. I had said this during the personality, uh, public speaking classes also, that if you want to develop a content for yourself, if you want to come up with your topic, if you want to come up with the main ideas, associated ideas, you will have to remove the clutter that you have in your mind and fill yourself with positive thoughts. Okay, I don't know whether I have played this, I have told you about this fan game or not that I play with the children during the public speaking sessions. You too can do that. Take a paper, and let's say this is the paper, any paper, okay? Make one fold and then fold to the opposite side, the way we make a fan. So when you, when you open that, there will be several folds. And when you fold the paper from half and then join it, it will become like a fan, a Chinese fan. It will look like this. So this is how a fan looks. And I told you that you have to do a lot of soul searching and start loving yourself first. Write all the positive words here about you, positive thoughts, all good words that you know. And when you fold it, all the words will come here. Okay? It's a very good exercise and you can color it and keep it in your, at your desk where you're studying. 
positive thoughts fantasies and mental images good thoughts fantasies i want to become this i want to become the famous uh, football player i want to uh, become like virat kohli i want to become like um, pit sampras pit sampras is somebody i used to adore he's a tennis player yester year's tennis player of course i want to uh, become like uh, miss pt usha i want to become like joala gutta if it's if it's sports that you are aspiring to be i want to become like steve jobs i want to become like mukesh ambani i want to become like amitabh bachchan i want to become like whatever whatever you want to become imagine that that this is what i aspire to be so your mental images words and actions all good things positive words positive actions determined happy excited enthusiastic so all these adjectives that you have ever known write it down that will boost your confidence improve your relationships and make you feel good about yourself it's going to do three things to you one is it it will boost your confidence means make you more confident improve your relationships with your parents with your siblings with your friends with your teacher with your nephews nieces it's going to improve your relationships with people and make you feel good about yourself when you're always surrounded by positive words that makes you feel good when you always hear negative things around you that makes you that automatically drops your confidence that makes you feel very bad where, where am i living what is this place it's all filled with negativity we always say no there's so much of negativity around us that is why you will have to surround yourself with positive imaging positive words that will make you feel good about yourself improve your relationships with people and boost your confidence list some of the factors in your life including past events again start noting down there are a lot of uh, events that occur in our life some events make us feel good some events make us feel bad we always go back to the good events and cherish those we feel good about it so we always want to go back to those events and then there are these negative events which make us feel very sad which we don't want to think about at all So write write down those factors in your life including past events people and situations which have affected your confidence positively negatively write it down in what way did they affect you did they affect you positively did they affect you negatively did you draw anything out of this negative effect that you had let's say you've trusted someone very much and this person betrayed you that's a negative feeling but did you learn did you learn that not in all situations you you should tr- start trusting people you should now use your reasoning and logic and not emotions okay so what all events have made you uh, feel good feel bad if it's bad did you draw some learnings if it good why did you feel it's good okay now without making any judgments consider how your attitudes and beliefs fantasies communication style and actions have created your life so if those events had happened to you what was it in your hands did your attitudes beliefs your communication your uh, judgments affect any of these write down anything that seems relevant so if you feel that there was a negative event in my life were you responsible or not the reason why we are trying to uh, know more of these is because we want to see that if there were certain accounts certain events which were not very pleasant what did you do about it were you responsible at the first place what did you do about it did you learn something if it's positive was it you because of whom the event was positive if yes really good if no which means that somebody else because of somebody else's efforts or uh, positive attitude believes that event was successful or positive what is your role what was your role in the both positive negative um belief i mean positive negative feeling that you got about the event that you will have to find out why are you trying to do this because you're trying to find your contribution your beliefs your attitudes your um communication your behavior your personality that is affecting your confidence again commit and you remember we had said that commitment is something that you need commit yourself to doing whatever it takes to become more confident if you have found out that because of you um the the event was negative because if you it was positive be committed towards drawing positive results every, every situation that you feel is has gone negative or was sour was not sweet what what learnings did you draw and how are you committed to making changes in yourself write these words on a sticky label or small card and place it now what you're going to do is if you have sticky notes pink color blue color red color white color whatever you will write this particular sentence 
and you will stick it on your notice board. If you do not have a notice board at your desk, stick it on the wall. I mean, I'm sure you have a dedicated place where you, where you have your desk, where you study. If not, keep it inside your diary or your personal journal. What are you going to write? I greet every new day with a firm commitment to raising my confidence. Okay? I will do whatever it is required to become more confident. Just write it down. If you don't want to stick it, well and good. Keep it with you and always go back to it. Read it several times so that it's imprinted in your mind. What is it? I greet every new day means I face every new day. Greeting, I mean, when you say hi, good morning, good evening, that is what greeting is. Greeting means coming together and facing that situation. I greet every new day with a firm commitment. So I'm saying to this day, to raising my confidence that, hey, day, I am going to be confident. I will do whatever is required. I will take whatever steps it needs to be taken to become more confident. These presentations will be shared to you, so don't worry. This, whatever is written here, just write it down in the note and keep it with yourself. Make yourself very comfortable either sitting or lying down. Now you have to do another exercise. Just sit or lie down, whatever you are comfortable once the session gets over or maybe during this session also you can do that. You still just sit comfortably. Close your eyes. Now that you're sitting comfortably, close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths and do it while I'm saying it. Close your eyes, take a few deep breaths. Okay. And allow your imagination to flow freely. Imagine that you have loads of confidence and are actually doing whatever is it that makes you nervous. Okay? So you are fighting with your nervousness. After a few minutes, open your eyes. Write down anything that comes to your mind in your notebook. Okay? So you have free flow of thoughts. Imagine you have loads of confidence and are actually doing whatever it is. It is that makes you nervous. So you are fighting your nervousness. You're fighting your weaknesses. So imagine yourself doing the right thing. Now that you've opened your eyes, write down whatever you have thought of. So this is the last thing that I wanted to tell you if you want to, if I want to sow a seed inside you through this lecture, but let the seed germinate, meaning you will have to put water and soil and allow it to germinate so that you are always surrounded with positive thoughts, positivity. You take charge of your life and start feeling confident. Thank you very much for watching.